I came to RAP about 11 years ago after 13 years as uh, commissioner and chair of the Vermont Public Service Board. And before that, I was a law professor at the University of California. We're working really hard now to, ex to uh, expand the European programs of RAP. And one of the really interesting aspects about that has been that we've been in Europe for two years now under, uh, in cooperation with the European Climate Foundation. So the collaboration between RAP and our partners has enabled us very quickly to uh, get on the ground, to become uh, involved with the active decisions that are going on in Europe today, and to start making a contribution after a relatively short period of time. One of the exciting things about working in the European Union now is the fact that at a very high level, the, the Union has created ambitious goals for renewable energy, for energy efficiency, and for decarbonization of the European economy. Over the past year, the European program has uh, <laughs> been operating on uh, more than six cylinders. We have just been flat out, uh, which is a, a wonderful thing on the one hand uh, because the opportunities have been so varied. Uh, for example, working very directly on the inside under a memorandum of engagement with the Department of Energy and Climate Change in the United Kingdom. Uh, we are confidential, high-level advisors to DEC, and DEC is responsible for power market reform in the UK, which most Europeans expect will be uh, the leading uh, country for forward-looking, low-carbon power market design for Europe as a whole. It's easy to make reference to the fact that Parliament has adopted a, f a formal goal of reducing emissions by 80 percent by 2050. Now, everybody knows that they might not make it, but it's legitimate in, in public discourse and in framing issues on a day-to-day -day basis to say, listen folks, the only way you're going to get to 2050 is by taking certain actions right now. And in the next five years, we need to do this much. I love the intellectual content of the work. Uh, RAP is known uh, for being creative, for putting good information together with some creative thinking to come up with a policy solution. And that is just, you know, terrifically engaging at a personal level. What really uh, drives me to do it is my profound belief that we have an obligation to do everything we can to improve the future for our children and grandchildren and for the, the health of the planet.